fun. I, mean, I think fun is important. I think fun gets a, a bad rap. Um, it sounds superficial and silly and um, not important. But fun is about play. And a play is about creativity. And so I think it's important for people to come together and to dance and sing and enjoy themselves and connect uh, in surprising and unlikely ways. And that's what fun is. Fun's important. Yes, nudity. Um, I've been dealing with the body uh, as part of this new narcissism we're living through. Um, kind of one of the main theses, theses, theses of Fisher Spooner is always about um, embracing what's popular and reconfiguring it. And nudity has become wildly popular as we've all been given cameras and as our sexuality has become so deeply tied to new technology. So the new album is a lot about um, sex and the internet. I like how the body is a universal language. It's a, it's a, it's a form that you can read throughout time and through any and every culture. So creatively, it's an amazing tool to just work with the body. Um, and I don't know why, but uh, in one of the last shows of the last tour, I was in a crisis personally, and I kind of was having an emotional breakdown in a performance. And in the middle of performing Emerge at 5 o'clock in the morning in Bilbao in front of 50,000 people, these words flew out of me in the middle of a dance. And I've always thought that it was the beginning of the next chapter. And the words were, my body is a weapon, my body is a tool, my body is a language, my body is for you. And that's kind of the core of me now. Gosh. You know, I don't know if I believe in silence. I mean, when is it ever really silent? Like right now. There's always something. Art is the new fashion. And so it feels like it's become the new prop for the wealthy and the elite. It doesn't, it would, it doesn't feel like it was that cool or that accessible or that popular, you know, even 10 years ago. So I should be happy about that, I guess, that there are more people that want to buy art and want to make art and want to put art in magazines and make art more, make more. But something about it starts to feel like, um, you know, another product, another, another uh, disposable object, another wasted moment. It's the one thing that I believe in the most, actually. So that's why I'm so protective. It's the one thing that I live for. I live for ideas and I live for creativity. And I'm terrible at everything else. Trash has this, this connotation of being um, cheap. But in a lot of ways, trashy stuff to me is the best trash is more about DIY. And it's about a rawness. And it's about celebrating, you know, kind of great ideas done really cheaply. Cheaply in terms of finance, not in terms of idea. So 
I'm a fan of good trash, but I really don't have time for bad trash. <laughs>